Live 101.5, you know it's the Valley's hit music leader. Uh, one third of the morning mess. My name is Natasha Castles here with the very special sought out Mr. Quinn 92. What's going on? Quinn 92, I, that's the full thing. Like, that's 92. what we got to address you every yep, time, right? Yep, please, yep. Quinn 92. Now, uh, you were here not too long ago playing at Crescent Ballroom. Yeah, and now we are here at the Van Buren the arenas, the, the places you're performing at are getting bigger. How yeah. does that feel? It's insane. I mean, it's super humbling and super cool just to see like the growth like in person, you know, like yeah. it's one thing to see, it's one thing to see like followers grow, but like when you see it in person, you're like, wow, there's more people coming to my shows. It's, it's a really sweet feeling to see. Yeah. And what I love about, uh, just your following it's so organic mm -hmm. what would you there's a bathroom right here <laughs> yeah, of course <laughs> oh, of course of course it's going off um with your following being so organic what would you what are the details that you can attribute to that i don't know i mean like I, obviously it, the music is, it is good. yeah i think good music definitely helps that but it's just like when I was in college, I like all my friends spread my music via word of mouth. And I think that like that trend just kind of kept going somehow. And like, you know, like I'll talk to radio like um, hosts and like programmers and they're like, yeah, like my daughter or my friend like put me onto your music. And it's not like the industry's making them listen to it. It's like a cool, mm -hmm. it's a cool like natural thing. And like, I think that's m like more humbling than, than anything else. It's just knowing that like people are, 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 are like, genuinely into it and and sharing it like naturally and it's just a it's a it's a cool way of like i don't know showing your friends music i guess oh yeah that's like the, and the it, power and if you're of the artist too yeah if you're but the artist it's even awesome. as the artist there's some type of focus that you have on the distribution of that music mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. are you familiar with gary v no you gotta look you no. gotta look am him i screwing up, up? gary yeah. vaynerchuk look him up youtube videos he's okay. just like this entrepreneur extraordinaire does a lot of like interviews himself um, Wait, you know what? I promise you, you've come across him. He's very aggressive in the way he talks. I just saw him. I think I was watching this. Do you know this this uh, Netflix thing they're doing called The Rapture? Oh, yes. And I just watched the first episode last night in Logic. Oh, was, oh, it just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he's on it. I swear he's on it. And he, he's featured in it. Like, he's not, the episode's not about him, but. Yeah. I sw his last name's, yeah. Vaynerchuk. I, yes. It was definitely him, for sure. Definitely him. And, and I just saw a clip. Uh, where he's talking to filmmakers and, you know, it's one thing to make the perfect film, but there's got to be a thought process when it comes to distribution. So that's what, mm -hmm. that's why I ask you, like, what are the details? Because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, people that are artists, young artists that want to put out music. Yeah. So it's like, it's one thing to put it out on SoundCloud. Right. It's another thing to make people listen to it. No, totally. I mean, I think with the label, it, it helps for sure. Like distributing it is, is easier now, but like, you, I think you gain more of a appreciation when you hear it coming from just like a word of mouth type thing. Mm -hmm. and It's just natural. Um, but you're at a party. What is this? Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a secret Shazam. Yeah. Cause I don't like Shazam. Like, yeah, Shaz yeah. I mean, Shazamming is really like, that's what it is these days. It's like, it's like when, when you know your Shazam numbers are high, it, it means people are just genuinely into it. It's not like they're, that's even cooler. Yeah. Like, they're not forced to be put. This? Yeah. They're not forced to listen to it. You know, it's just a, it's like a real thing. So, um, the label definitely looks at that stuff as like, data that they can use for sure yeah you have such a good sound is this was this your sound from the beginning when you first started making music? kind of what yeah i kind of was like i everyone always asked me like how did you like what was what did you want to like sound the way you do and like it was never like i never had like this like idea of like I'm okay when I make music this is how I want to sound like I want to sound like this dude or this dude or this dude it's like this cool pop r&b sound yeah yeah it's like a it's a real mix of like pop r&b like you said but also like reggae and electronic mm -hmm. music and it really goes to the bathroom again but <laughs> uh it's like it's a blend of a lot of my like influences growing up as as like musicians go so like michael jackson and like temptations a lot of this like soul music and then as i got older i got into more um current music and pop music and stuff and so like i kind of just blended that all together and like mm -hmm. what came out was like was my sound i guess um so no it's like this like melting pot of just like a lot of like interesting things i don't know it's weird yeah now i know quinn 92 is not your government name no 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 no. where did quinn 92 come from quinn so my real name is mike um michael my uh quinn came comes from an acronym that i came up with in college that stands for quit unless your instincts are never neglected which means if you, have you merch, right we don't have that on merch yet no we, we need to I we're like, screwed I up i need a t-shirt a we're, sweater a we're screwed up dad hat or we're something screwed up. yeah 
Sorry, you, you could probably hear my photographer speaking out. Michi- <laughs> Michigan's playing in the Final Four now. He went to Michigan. Uh, yeah, no, so it stands for quit unless your instincts are never neglected, which is essentially just like if you have like a passion inside that you really can't shake, like a dream you want to go after, and you're a little too hesitant to, 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 to talk about it with people. Because I was at the time. Like I, I was going to school, and um, you know my degree was in advertising, but I had music on the side as a hobby, and no one thought I was really taking it seriously up. I was the only one that like wanted to make it a career, but I was too nervous to like tell people that. So it, I, it is because that's it's, like it's, the it's, go to school. You, yeah, uh, you yeah. Finish high school, you go to college. Your parents want you to, you know, corporate America yeah, and make yeah. it happen. And your parents, yeah, exactly. Your parents want you to have a secure job, and you know, telling your parents that you want to be a musician, obviously, you will not. I think I think parents naturally come off a little like guarded to that because they want to make sure their kids are secure. Yeah, my mom was like, get yeah. a plan B. All right, radio's cool, but get a plan B. I'm all, right. do that. Exactly, exactly. So I I did get my plan B. I got my degree at Michigan State. So, I mean, if this goes down south soon, I can always, I guess, get a job as an advertising agent. But I have I no, mean, I have no plans on doing that. Music. Nah, you th- I think I take, yeah, I'll take, I'll take this for now. Yeah, this one is a little little better um, I think they can work hand in hand yeah yeah but no I mean the acronym really just like it, it's just preaches going for what you love and like kind of like life's too short let's just pursue your dreams and I think that really resonates with a lot of people these days so um, yeah I mean I just I preach it at my shows and yeah it's, I think it's important to, to listen to so you mentioned being kind of like scared to pursue music at one point mm-hmm. or really tell somebody that, mm-hmm. that you wanted to who was the per- first person you really told and opened up to about that and like, I told like, you know what this is what I'm doing so the only Made up my mind. the first person who really got the gist of it was my friend Alex who goes by AOK who's another producer signed to Columbia also um him and I were like kind of it wasn't secretive by any means, but him and I were like the ones who just like knew each other's brains and like knew we wanted to take this to like the next level. Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I always say, like our ears are the same. Like anything that like he liked, I knew I would like, and vice versa. So him and I were always like really confident this was gonna like be something. But we, I mean, we told our family and friends too, but like we never, we never like boasted about it or we never like really expressed how we felt about it until we saw like numbers on like Spotify go up and then like our song Kings of Summer that we had was the number one song on mm-hmm. Spotify, like the viral charts at, a t- at one point. And that's when people were like, wow, that's a, okay. You guys are like for real, like this isn't a joke anymore. So, um, he was the first dude for sure that I was like opening up. Like I got, I was able to be like really vulnerable with and just kind of let my guard down and, and talk about music with. Um, and then naturally I got more comfortable with my parents talking about it and my friends and stuff. But no, there. Everyone in my life is super supportive of like what I'm doing. And, and, yeah. Shout out to AOK. I, I just saw I was creeping your Instagram. I yeah? saw him comment on one. Of, I'm sure he him. comments all the time. He does. Well, I he, live with him, so yeah. Oh, yeah, duh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll just be a creep on yeah. purpose. He was asking <laughs> who your favorite VeggieTales character was, so now I got naturally curious really? too. I always tell him I he looks grew like up a, with VeggieTales. I tell me he looks like a VeggieTales character. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. He doesn't really. Kind of does, but yeah, no. No. Shout out to yeah, Alex. Um, I saw that you are recently engaged. Yes, yes. Can I ask how you popped the question? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, so I was in California, where I live. I live in Culver City, and then and in Venice, we went to uh, my fiance and I. Now it's weird saying fiance. I'm still getting used to it. Whatever. Uh, you yeah, love yeah, saying yeah. No, I, don't I know <laughs> yeah. she's definitely sounds, having a ball. It sounds way it. too fancy. Like I don't want. It sounds like I'm like I'm like I'm like people. Like I'm like. I hate that. Oh, uh, like you're kind of just yeah, yeah my fiance. Yeah, like, like yeah, like it sounds. I'm not a good right, 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 right. Excuse right. you. Um, no, we did it at our favorite restaurant. It's called the Tasting Kitchen in Venice. If you if you guys listeners are from California, you definitely need to go there. It's so good. And I had the hostess bring the ring out like during the dessert portion of the dinner because it's like you go there and like the chef makes your food and like you don't even order your food. It's just like all right, you get you kind of oh, like one of those what, yeah, whatever is going on. Yep. Do you feel like beef but, or chicken today? Exactly, exactly. And this then, is what we have for yeah, you. right, exactly. And it's really good all the time. So, they brought it out, and I was freaking out the whole time. Like I ate nothing. Like the whole, the whole, the whole night I was just like, like. Who'd you fr- tell that you were doing this? Uh, who did I tell? I, I I told my uh, my family, some of my close friends, and that was it. Because I didn't want to tell too many people because a lot of my friends like. <laughs> Have uh, big mouths and stuff. Of course. And, and, uh, like I, I'm so yeah, happy yeah, for you. Yeah, exactly. Why are you so happy for exactly, me? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, um, no, she brought it out. The hostess or the waitress, or whatever, brought it out on the plate and then, um, you know, gave us our space. And I just kind of like went, went from there. But I blacked out. Like, I, I don't remember what I said. I remember saying, I, Will you marry me? Obviously, but like everything before that was, was a blur. And it's funny, 
we just had someone last night in uh, Santa Ana, California, propose on stage at our show. That's dope. So it's it's cool. It's like it's cool to see, you know, like I got to I got to like be on the opposite end of it because like I knew what that guy was going through. Like because like backstage he was really nervous and stuff. But it's cool to see people do that and like you know it's it's like an honor to be asked to like do it at my show. You yeah. Know? Like they feel like that's like a place like like. Special you know enough. they'll be going to your shows from yeah, now on. Yeah, exactly. Life, right. Like. I know. I know. It's a really crazy feeling, and I think that, I mean, that's like one of those things that ex- it just extends music. Like people tell you these stories of how like it impacts their lives, and like that's like one example. So it's, it's re- people start getting tattoos. Yeah, tattoos, and it's it, it's really insane. But I mean, it's super flattering. Yeah. Did you ever consider writing a song or like singing to her and proposing her? No, I, I kind of thought that was a little corny. I mean, I, I if anyone does it, I'm not saying you're corny <laughs> for doing it. Yeah, but, but for you, for, for me. You. I don't, I don't know if I had it in me to pull that off and, like, do it seriously because I think I would just laugh. Um, yeah, from what I've seen, not that I've spent time stalking, you guys are, like, a cool, goofy couple. So yeah, super, like, super goofy. And she's, like, I think she would laugh first, you know, and, I, and she'd be, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Uh, no, Break your but, heart right yeah, there. Right, yeah, exactly. Ex- exactly. No, but we did it. It was pretty, like, traditional, and, like, uh, I actually, I didn't get down on, like, one knee, though, because where we were, like, the tables are very close to one another, so I I would have had to, like, physically move someone's table to, like, bend down on one knee, so I... That uh, would have been tight. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse I'm me. about to propose Yeah, yeah, yeah. To... Could you give me some space? Yeah. No. We, uh, no. We, we did it. We were, like, in a booth, and I just, like, kind of got closer to her, and, 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 yeah, popped the question, but, you know, we're, we're super excited, yeah. Your music is very well written, and uh, just... Cut. It's a breath of fresh air. Thank you. Uh, as a new artist, I guess, what would your... I've been debating on how to phrase this question. What would your goals be in the long run aside from the music? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, as your platform grows, as, uh, you know, politics change in the world and all this stuff that's going on. Mm-hmm. Is there other uh, views that you'd like to use your platform to change? Yeah. Um, it's a That's a really good question. I really long... I could... It's it's like an answer that I've thought about. I still don't really know just because like I'm still like once my platform I'm still is at figuring this it level, out. I yeah. want to put money into this. Exactly. Or... Yeah. I mean, I'm a. I, I love at some point I would love to because right now I'm still like stacking my money. Like I'm not I'm not there yet where I can just like. Yeah, but you have the vision. But I have course. a vision. Yeah. So like I mean, whether it's you know, philanthropy ideas like you know giving back to charities or whatever like i would love to get involved in that and just helping out because like i really as i get older as i'm maturing i'm becoming i feel like more of like a humanitarian i'm like because like as you travel you get to experience other people's cultures and like you really appreciate other people and like what they go through so i'm really getting like a full scope of of the world and it's just it's it's really humbling to do that um but I mean, I could tell you I want to win a Grammy. I want to do all this stuff, which I do. But I think... Well, those big, are like the obvious. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. But if you, I don't know, thought of ever building a school. You're from Detroit or Michigan, yeah, right? Yeah. Like building a school. I would love to do, go back to the community like 100%, 100% and do that someday. Again, if, they, if it gets to that point where I'm fortunate enough to do that, I would love to. Um, yeah, just, 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 just to help out friends, family members, whoever are in need. But... You know, at the at the, at the sorry, you're screaming at the mo- <laughs> at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm still in the process of, of of getting to that point, but I definitely have those goals in mind. I got I got I got to figure them out though. But yeah, narrow it down. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Obviously, being from Detroit, <laughs> did you ever have a moment where you kind of just one day envisioned Eminem just bringing <laughs> your your line or some, imagining it, that he calls it, to get in contact with you? Yeah, I, it's crazy. No, but at the same time, yes. And what I mean by that is like, I actually didn't grow up listening to a lot of like Detroit hip hop. It was mm-hmm. it was it was actually more of like the older Motown stuff. Okay. So um, while that would be like the craziest thing ever if he did connect with me, um, it, it's not something that I'm like you know I was I was like growing up with like in the back of my mind like oh my gosh like that's gonna be like the like, moment that's where whose I attention I want yeah, to get yeah but I mean like he, clearly he's a legend like he's one of the best that's ever, that's ever done whose attention it. would you want to get I would like to get it's funny I'm speaking with Mike Pose right now who's from Michigan who's I think really talented and amazing very um, talented yeah uh, great songwriter and just you know as an artist he's amazing I love Big Sean um, and there's these new dudes coming out like my age like there's there's Bozzy who has his song on the radio yeah. now and like kind of is taking off there's NF who's a rapper um Michigan's like really producing some really cool artists right now at the moment but there's not someone in particular like I'm like 
the number one guy I want to get in touch with. I mean, forever that was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, my favorite artist of all time. But, you know, obviously he passed away, so that, that dream kind of went out the window. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. Just being in that scene and just, just connecting with more, like, Michiganders is really cool to me. Michiganders? Yeah, that's what they call them. Yeah, oh, that's what we call ourselves. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to remember that. The Michiganders out there, yeah. NF is here <laughs> in a couple of weeks, so is he? I'll have to. Yeah. Oh, months, months. Bring my name up for sure. Yeah, okay. no, I know he's going on tour with Logic, who, um, uh-huh. who are you're kind of in the same, like, camp of people. So, yeah, he's, 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 he's really you, good. Are you guys friends? Um, I know... We're we're pretty close, like as far as like management, like we we know each other's like people, I guess. So okay. love to work with him too, by the way. So very cool. Let's put that out there, Bob. Woo. If you're watching this, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, yeah, no. It's just it's, it's cool. It's cool being from Michigan and seeing like the growth of it right now. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, now from being from Michigan, I don't know how popular Selena is over there, but today is the 23 year anniversary of her death. Unfortunately, is it really? Um, um she's the legend, icon. Uh, and I wanted to see if I could sing i don't know if you know any of her songs but if we could sing one of them together if you want to repeat after me you're gonna kill me i i'm like very on vocal rest? not no 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 no, not on vocal rest but i'm like not like educated on the on her catalog oh i know okay. that's okay. Okay, okay okay i just want you to like sing after me let's do it let's do it's it okay yeah como la flor oh, you gotta <laughs> sing after me just repeat okay okay como la flor Como la flor, <laughs> de tanto amor, tanto amor, me diste tú, me diste tú, hey, se machito, se machito, me macho, me macho, me macho, yo sé perder, yo sé bater, <laughs> pero ay, pero ay, <laughs> Como me duele. Como me duele. Hey, <laughs> you have a really nice voice. Too. I like your voice. You know, I tried a little bit. Yo, you might know. have to pull you up on stage tonight. Hey, <laughs> I always say, give me a couple vocal lessons. I'm not tearing yeah, up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll stick to radio for now, though. <laughs> no, uh, awesome. Thank you, Quinn. Quinn 92. You got to refer to the into the entire name. Quinn 92. Yes. I'm not going to lie. I did have to look up the, the Roman conf- numerals. It's confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I make it hard on people for sure, but yeah. X- but I like I, that. It's cool. Yeah, it's a little like... Once you once you figure it out, it's like oh, I cracked the code. Like I know. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know that's how, how I felt. Yeah, I was yeah. like, Psh, I need to yeah, add yeah. some type of Roman numerals to my name. <laughs> yeah. That'd be tight. Like, <laughs> new Instagram name coming soon. Right. I'm right. Just kidding. Uh, thank you so much for thank sitting you. down with I appreciate me. It. Uh, Live one one five. Quinn ninety two. Check them out. The story of us. Yeah. Out now on all your streaming platforms. Go my dog.